Now that we've gotten rid of the worst of the blemishes and spots and so on, the next stage of my workflow I like to move on to is I like to look at what needs to be improved in the way of remodeling and re-sculpting the body and the face. And so my first step is we're going to remodel the face a little bit. So I'm just going to zoom in, command space bar, click and drag over the face. And looking at Rebecca's face here, there's not that much that needs to be fixed. However, just to improve it a little bit, there are a few little things that we can do. For example, the nose is looking a little asymmetrical at the moment. It's looking like it's leaning to my left here at the moment. And the nostrils are just looking a little lopsided. Also, Rebecca's right eye, or the eye to my left, in appearance appears to be just sitting a little bit lower than the other eye. I know she's tilted a little bit to the left, however, it looks like it could be lifted up just a tad. Also, along the jaw, it's looking very square, and what I'd like to do is just nudge it in a little bit, just so that the jaw's not looking quite so square. So my first step is to create a new layer with everything that we've done so far. So what we need to do is copy merged, and the quick keys for that are Command Option Shift E, and here we are, there's a new layer that's been created which is a copy of everything that we've done so far. It's like an amalgamation of the skin smooth and the retouch layer. Now the first thing I'm going to fix up is the jawline. So what I'm going to do is get onto my lasso tool by hitting the L key and I'm just going to select the entire face. So I'm just going to get a generous proportion around the jawline there. Now I've made a selection of the face and I just want to copy this onto a new layer. So I'm going to hit Command J and there's our new layer with just the face sitting on top of it. Now I don't want to bring the entire image into the liquify filter because it tends to slow right down. So what I want to do is just bring in the area that I need to work on. So I'm going to grab my marquee tool by hitting the M key. I'm going to click and drag over this section of the face. Now I come up to my filter, liquify, and there's our face. I'm going to hit command plus to zoom in a little bit closer. Now to increase or reduce my brush size, if I want to do it in increments of 20, just to make it a lot quicker, I can hold down the shift key and use my left and right bracket keys and the size of the brush goes up and down in increments of 20. So I'm just going to increase it a little bit. And now making sure that I'm on my forward warp tool up here, I just want to nudge in this jawline a little bit. Very gently and I'll just bring it in a little bit, just so it's not quite so square. Just like that. Now I'll do the same with the other side, just nudge it in. And that looks pretty good. Now while we're in the liquify filter, the next thing I would, wouldn't mind doing is just straightening up the nose a little bit. So I'm going to reduce my brush a little bit. Shift left bracket key. And at the moment the nose is leaning a little bit to my left. So I'm just going to click and drag it and move it a little bit to my right. To about there. And I'll click OK. Now if we do a quick before and after. Before and after. We can see we've just reduced the jawline a little bit and nudged the nose a little bit to the right. Command D to deselect. Now the next thing I want to do is just nudge the eye on my left a little higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my lasso tool by hitting the L key once again. Lasso around the eye. Command J to copy that onto a new layer. Get onto my move tool by hitting the V key and using the up and down left and right arrow keys I'm just going to nudge the eye up just the tiniest amount. Perhaps to about there. I've only nudged it up by one point. So Let's have a quick before and after. Before and after. And I think that's a, a slight improvement. Now at this stage, if I option click on my the new layer of credit here with the eye sitting on top of it, option click on the eye icon, we can see that the, the lasso, because the lasso tool had zero feathering, it's got these very sharp edges. And if I was to move this eye around a little bit more, we'd find that the edges wouldn't meet up with the rest of the image. So it's probably good practice at this stage, and I'll do it now even though it's not really necessary, but I'm going to add a layer mask and around the edges of this image, if I just option click on the eye icon, get onto my brush tool with the B key at 100%, so double zero, increase my brush size a little bit, and I'm going to get rid of the harsh edges by just painting black around them on the, onto this new layer mask here. So I need to bring black to my foreground by hitting the X key, it's going to flip my foreground and background over. So I'm currently on my mixer brush, so I want to get off that and get onto my usual brush tool. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and click B 
couple of times. There we are. So I'm onto my brush tool, double zero to get onto 100%. And I'm just going to brush around these edges on my layer mask just to ensure that I don't have any harsh edges that'll be noticeable in the finished image. There we are. Option click back on my eye icon and there are no harsh edges, which is good. Now, the next thing I would really like to do is I'm looking at the nose here and I'm seeing that although we've strained up the nose, the nostrils are looking a little too asymmetrical. The right one's far more prominent than the left one. So I'd like to even up the whole thing. So getting back onto my onto layer two where I've got the whole face sitting on it, I'm going to get my marquee tool with the M key, select just that section. So we're just bringing that section into the liquify filter, filter, liquify, command plus to zoom up, reduce my brush down in size. And the first thing I want to do is just make the left side of the nose even with the right side. And I'm just going to pull that side out a little bit, just like that. Also, there's this little section down here, just underneath the nose, which is just sitting a little bit low. So I'm going to nudge that up just like that. And that seems to be doing the trick. And I'm going to click OK. Command D to deselect. Now I want to soften the darkness of this nostril so it's not quite so prominent. Command space by click and drag to zoom in. And on another layer, just above our last one, I'm going to click the new layer icon, get onto my clone tool by hitting the S key, bringing the size down a little bit. And with it currently sitting at 30%, which is pretty good, I'm going to option click just on the little patch of skin underneath here and just soften that line a little bit. And also I'm going to soften the darkness of that nostril. So option click and sweep. Option click, sweep. There we are. And now that nostril isn't quite so dark and obvious. Pan out, command minus. Now I'll do a quick before and after with all these layers. Before and after. And now the face is looking just that little bit more symmetrical. Now I'm going to merge all these layers down to this layer one, this new layer we've got down here, layer one. So what I do is holding down the shift key, I'll click on layer one. So I've selected all those layers, hit command E to merge these selected layers. I'm going to rename this face sculpt. And so there are a few tips on how to remodel a face.